Hello everyone and welcome back to Video Pop Vloggers channel. Today in this video, we will show you how to create a painting brush stroke effect shown in the video. And if you are interested in this, keep watching the video. Before making the video, first, we need to prepare a few video clips. You also need a chroma key clip with a brush stroke like this one. You can find and download them from the material sites. Or you can also download it by clicking the link below in the comment section. Open Video Pop Vlogger. First, let's import a random video clip and a chroma key brush clip. Put a video clip into video track. Put the brush material into the overlay track. Use these two bottoms to make it fit to the screen. Drag the playhead. Find the point where the blue brush appears. Find the chroma key in inspector. Click on the box behind the color. Then, in a video that pops up, click on the straw tool to pick the blue color in the preview window. Click on done. Then check the enable box. Next, adjust the tolerance and smoothness values carefully to soften the edge of the image. Click here to lock the overlay track. Then adjust the size and the position of the clip on the video track in the preview window to show as much of the subject as possible. Finally, use Ripple Edit to crop the two clips to the same length. Click Export to export the clip. Then make two or three more clips in the same way. Quit a new project. Let's re import the clip we just made. And a normal clip into Video Pop Vlogger. First, place the background material on the video track. Then create a few new overlay tracks based on the number of the clips we just made. Then put the clips into the overlay track in this order. Then use Ripple Edit to crop their ends to the same. Next, use a chroma key to remove the green screen from all overlay track clips in turn. Note that you need to carefully adjust the tolerance and smoothness values. After processing, check the results and export. At this point, we have created a basic brush effect video. If you want to have a better effect, you can proceed to the next like section. Import the finished film you have just exported. Place it on the video track. Drag the playhead to find the position where the brush appears. Then use the shortcut M to mark these parts in the curve. Click here to go to the motion editor. Then we can use a preset to create a camera motion effect. Drag the playhead to the mark position. Then find a quick preset. Click add. Follow this method to add camera shake to each point where the brush appears. Finally, click apply to return to the main screen. You can also add a video at the end of the whole video as a final scene to make the whole video more complete. Well, this is all for today's video. And if you want to know more about other and tricks or what has been going on with the video pop vlogger, be sure to click that subscribe button to subscribe channel if you haven't yet. And we'll see you soon in our next video. Hope you enjoy. Bye bye.